Welcome to ETFW. My name is Brendan, and this is Rick. That's right. And tonight, we're going to be talking about Brendan Nordica. Brendan, do you want to tell them what Brendan Nordica is? Absolutely. So it is uh, getting a bit late now, nice and dark. Rick is doing a bit of cooking, I believe. He's been a good domesticated uh, husband, even though he ain't my husband. What you cooking, man? Yeah. Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Who the fuck is that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. Damn, man, cooking with Rick. Talking five star, baby. You know, we don't, we don't, we don't fuck around. I know you thinking we fuck around, but we don't fuck around. Good like this. Man, we don't the big squirrel. Ooh, 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 oh, orange justice. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're just gonna cook up a bit of a face. It's gonna be a good, good fade. Really looking forward to it. Pretty hungry. We will check in with you guys a little bit further in after we've cooked. Maybe even show you uh, the final result. We'll see you guys shortly. Oh man, what a day, guys. We're just chilling out, relaxing. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm liking it, man. Who the, what the hell? <laughs> man, everybody gonna think this is sauce. Nah, man. man. We, we don't play like that. <laughs> this is sauce, man. This is sauce. <laughs> nah, guys, all seriousness, we're just chilling out. Got the heater going. All bougie up in here. We just had a mad <laughs> dinner. Man, we're gonna relax for a bit. Soak it in, have some showers, freshen up. I think we're gonna go out and get the night started. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a good plan. We've got a bunch of cool locations, a bunch of creepy locations. We're already getting creeped out in the house. Seriously, I know we're joking around, but I think we're joking around to distract ourselves from how terrifying this place is. Well, before, I found a, found a cupboard door open, and yep. I'm like, hey, Rick, do you open this door? No, I swear to God. Yeah, cupboard door, cupboard door open. I was cooking. Brendan was looking through some of the footage in the living room, and I'm, I'm in the back cooking, yeah? I'm still like whipping out. Whipping up a meal, whipping up a feast. And I hear it like out towards the back near the bathroom, like a door tap. And I poke my head around. I'm like, yo, <laughs> ain't nobody there. So I don't know, it could just be the wind. But yeah, I think we're just like, like really overly choking tonight to distract ourselves because yeah, this place is pretty creepy. But you guys are going to see shortly. You know, we're going to take you out into the darkness and you guys will see. Yeah. Let's have some showers and uh, get to it. <laughs> Separately. Separately, obviously. <laughs> Separately, guys. I mean, like, I know what you're thinking, you dirty. <laughs> I mean, like, he may need to wash my bag, but you know what I mean. I know what you're dirty. <laughs> you're thinking. Like, what are you thinking? <laughs> nah, but guys, we're gonna, we're gonna freshen up, we're gonna relax a bit. We're gonna head out and get the night started and do some investigating and yeah, see how haunted our Blue Mountains Lithgow area really is. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. See you guys soon. Yeah. 
one hour later. Alrighty guys, so as you saw in the intro, we're gonna be doing Rainanautica tonight and just see what it's all about. Yeah, it's, it's basically taking the internet by storm as well. Yeah, I mean, we don't know what to, you know, we don't know what to believe of it yet. Obviously, there's been crazy videos of people getting taken to, uh, you know, dead body chopped up in a suitcase to random crop signs or creepy people out in the woods. I don't know, I, I've, I've kind of read a bunch of things on it too. Like, I, I've read things that, you know, people say it's all a load of bullshit, it doesn't work, it hasn't worked for them, and then, on the flip side, we see these videos that's like, holy shit. So as we said, it's definitely caught our curiosity. We're gonna give it a try tonight. We're gonna head into the safety of the car because we're, we're in the middle of nowhere. We don't know where we are. We're in the Blue Mountains. We've never explored this area before. So we figured what better night to end up in a serial killer's backyard using Rena Nordica than tonight. <laughs> If you guys have had an awesome experience or Definitely. an interesting experience or even a bad experience with Random Nautica, comment down below. Let us know. Otherwise, let's get into it and show you guys ours. Let's do it. Random Nord. I, I don't know how to use this app yet. Like, let's just give it a go. Like, I don't even know what all these terms mean, but I don't know. Let's, just, let's just pick the first one, Anomaly. Next. Like these two, I don't even know what, what this means, but we'll go next. Before you embark on your adventure, take a moment to set an intention for your trip. This can be a word or a phrase to help create the story of the journey ahead. Use a clear mind, focus, thought, and visualization. When you're done, hit start, and the QRNG will quantumly generate your destination. Jesus. All right. What are you? What are you thinking? Man, I just think we go like scary or haunted or something. All right. Let's clear our mind and let's think of scary haunted. Looking for anomalies, please wait. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty freaky. Ooh. Where the f is that? Mount York. 13 minutes. Holy sh. That's like in the bush, man. I mean, we said we were gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's head towards there and just suss it out. All right, guys, we got 13 minutes. We're gonna head there. We're heading to Mount York. Don't know what to expect, but let's go find out. Let's go find out. All right, All right guys, we'll pick it back up in a second when we're a bit closer. See you later. All right, bye. Area closed, entry prohibited due to danger posed from potential tree fall and other hazards as a result of recent bushfire. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's because of the bushfires. Yeah. You stink, bro. Huh? You stink, bro. What? No, I don't smell it. It smells like shit. How I know you did. I didn't. I brought it up to it, man. All right, guys, so a bit of a bust. We wouldn't really blame the app for this one. The road has been closed. We would... We'll try We'll try another location. Yeah, we were trying just then. We yeah. figured, yeah, let's let's try new ones. Reset. Rando Nort. Anomaly. Let's try. Bro, what Where is with the these ones in the f***ing middle of the abyss? This is like in some field. Well, what's near it? All right, guys, so round two. 
round two, 14 minutes away. Yeah, so... And it, the good thing is about it is it gets it all pretty close. Yeah, it's not like you know, an hour drive. Like, at least it, it shoots it all pretty close to your location. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. we're going to head there, and uh, yeah. we'll check in with you guys a bit shortly. Alrighty, guys. Let's get ran and naughty. Ooh. Part two. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, so we found a bit of a track that can take us to this without going through someone's property, so we're just heading through it now. It is pitch black around here, though. Yeah, it, Google says it's 40 meters, but it's bugging. It's tripping yeah, out. It's freaking out, but... So, middle of <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, guys, definitely do this with friends. Definitely don't do this on your own. Yeah. And do it in winter, because snakes are hibernating then. Something I learned today. <laughs> Yeah. Alright guys, so come on because I can't so we're not there yet, but we just found something that's pretty cool. Um, it's not the place that we're looking for, but it's pretty interesting. It's like a I don't know, like a burnout truck or something. Burnout fuel truck or something. What? What the f is this? That's oh, just a random. Me in the asshole, giant stick. <laughs> Man. Alrighty guys, so we just made it to the destination. Again, the intent for this Rena Nordica was uh, scary. We just literally will turn you around. We're at this giant tower. It's an electrical tower. We don't really want to get any closer because obviously it's voltage. It's also fenced off, so we're not jumping that fence to go near it, but we can't see anything in relation to, yeah. you know, something scary about it. Yeah, we did a lap around. There seems to be nothing here. Bit, bit funny to get here. We have to kind of like hop, jump, and skip yeah. a couple of fences, electric fences, which were pretty funny. Yeah. We'll show you on the way back. Basically, but... we used a tree to get over the electric fence, so we um, defeated that. There were some burnt out vehicles back there, which is pretty cool, which you guys just saw before. And it yeah. could be possible that Renault Nautica was taking us to that. So we're going to head back to that and just have a quick little look and yeah. see if there's anything scary in relation to that. But we're going to head towards those uh, vehicles, so we'll pick it yep. up with you guys as we're going through the uh, hurdles that we're taking to get back to it. <laughs> All right, let's do it. We'll pick it up in a sec, guys. Right, we'll Rain Nordica, peace. Bye. Alrighty, guys. So we just got back to the Presbytery, the place we're staying. Just finished up with Rain Nordica. I, I don't know. I think it's. I think it's one of those things you might have to try a couple of times. Uh, we tried it two times tonight. First place, literally wanted to take us. I think off a mountain. Yeah, from the looks of it, it wanted no to joke. take us off a cliff. Like it looked. Yeah. It was a complete drop off. We, we, we was on the top of a mountain and it wanted to take us off. Yeah. So, f that. Like, <laughs> second place we went to was a bit of a weird one. Again, like the intent for that was scary. Like that was the intent that we put in for that one. The only thing really scary about it was getting there. Yeah. I mean, did it work? Well, I guess you say it was scary getting there, so maybe it did work. Well, you know, I mean, like, I guess you'd say, like, was it a success? We didn't end up in a serial killer's backyard, so I guess it's a success. We're alive, yeah. And I mean, look, the the principle of it is that you have fun and you enjoy it, and well, I guess you know you want to be safe. Yeah, we had fun doing it. It was, it was it was pretty fun. We were saying on the way back, like, it'd be cool if you did it with like a group of friends. Yeah, I think I think definitely yeah. ran, ran a Nordica. I think if you're gonna do it, I mean, uh, unless you're like crazy and you enjoy spooking yourself out i mean we're not going to say do it on your own no. i mean 
you know, but we, we would definitely recommend doing it with a bigger group. Yeah. But with all that said and done, I mean, like Brenna said, it, it was a bit of an adrenaline rush. It was a bit of fun. But anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up for tonight. we got a few more episodes planned, as you guys are going to see short. Well, for them, it's going to be a week. But for us, it's going to be <laughs> a couple of hours. <laughs> but anyways, guys, we're going to wrap it up for the night. we got a few more things planned up. Until then, guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you liked the video, and again, comment down below if you've gone red and naughty. We'd love to hear your stories. We'd love to hear where you ended up. Hopefully, if you made it back and you can comment, comment. Until next time, guys, we'll see you on the next video. See you later. See you guys. Bye.